Here's the tale of the tape for the semifinals of the Back to Warcraft Weekly number 33. Yet again, we have Grubby versus Dice, Night Elf versus Orc. Can Grubby do better this week? Has he improved? Has he made some changes to his strategy? We're going to find out. It will be uh, Rusty Creek for the first map of this best of three. Winner of this probably goes up against Happy. We'll wait and find out. Here we go. There's Dice in the bottom left. Upper right here is Grubby. So Carson Gibson or Fender? Fender all the way. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Gibson is only good for one thing. And that's semi-hollows. ES-335? Oh, hell yeah. But uh, is it 335? I always forget the number. I think, I think you guys know what I'm talking about. Other than that, for just normal electrics... Okay, Gibson's good for two things. Their acoustics are much, way nicer than Fender acoustics. But I will say, Fender acoustics are very good for the price, for like a beginner acoustic. They're much nicer than your average um, low-cost acoustic. But for electric guitars... I mean, Fender is, is the best, obviously. Strat, Tele, Jazzmaster, you can't go wrong. Those are the three best electric guitars ever. Keeper. Out. Clubs of Haze. Archer took a ton of damage there. And the Farseer is chasing down some Wisps. Here comes Grubby with the Harass. This is a fast tech. A player's forces are under attack. First ballad was in a sentimental mood. Nice. My first ballad was actually Autumn. Or uh, my first um, standard, rather, was Autumn Leaves. Can't remember what my first ballad was. But those days are long over. I'd love to get back into the jazz, and, but it just takes so much time, and I'm such a bad player fundamentally that it's hard. Hard to do. <laughs> nice pressure from Grubby here. But no denies, so that's going to be almost entangled online. Wisp. Could have detonated this to get that level 2, but Dice is a wise man, knows he doesn't need it. Grubby already sees three archers, so he's going to know no Huntresses in sight, which obviously are not necessary against Farseer. Not a Les Paul man. I played a Les Paul for about five years, and then I sold it for rent money, um, and I never looked back. Never looked back. They don't stay in tune. They don't stay in tune. I've played like a, a 1968 Black Beauty Les Paul, like the one that Jimmy Page played at Royal Albert Hall with Led Zeppelin, like that same guitar almost. I don't know what year he played there though, but it, it's this is something like a mid or at least mid late 60s it's like a twelve thousand dollar les paul doesn't hold a tune what's up with les paul's man why don't they why don't they stay in tune Nice dust. It's going to be first blood for both, in fact. Headhunter and an archer are going to go down. Grubby should probably not bring these headhunters. He's going to lose another headhunter here. Oh, never mind. To done. Shadow Hunter out. Spirit Lodge out. And Laura's on the way as well as the Panda. Yep, all standard. These are things we expect to see now. These are things we should be familiar with by now. With how much we've seen Happy play this style against Night Elves and how much other players have tried to emulate it recently. This is the standard approach. 
player's forces are under attack. Oh, Ancient War. This is sick from Grubby with the wolf. The solo wolf, it can kill the, if it can kill the Ancient War. That's a huge delay in the potential creeping of the panda. Just like this creep jack is, I like this from Grubby. That's archer number three going to go down. Ooh, and the clarity's still not cancelled. Another hex. Ooh, this is huge. That one was denied. But for Grubby to kill these archers, even if he loses headhunters, what he's doing importantly here is delaying the panda from being level three. The player's forces are under attack. Oh yeah, sorry, I misspoke. I shouldn't say that Les Pauls don't stay in tune. It's that they're never in tune to begin with. They're always slightly off. Like if you if you just play Johnny Cash chords on a Les Paul, you can't play a G major, E major, and a D major and them all be perfectly in tune. One of them is always slightly out of tune, most often because of the G. It's not that they don't stay in tune, rather. That was that was a that was a, a misspeak. So Grubby in a decent position if he doesn't overcommit here. Oh, my breath of fire is still broken. Do I really have to reinstall the game? I figured it would just fix itself by now. I have to reinstall the game. I watch that DVD like almost every day in high school. I know we're going off on a lot of tangents here right now while Grubby and Dice are playing. Okay, never mind. Farseer. Gonna be forced to the TP. Oh, Hex, actually. There's another Purge as well. The Dryad Micro has been super sick. Okay, there's the TP. Here's another tangent, though. Um, the Roy Oliver Hall DVD, Led Zeppelin. You said you watch it every day in high school. I got that DVD a, a little bit after the Harmonica story. Uh, like, two years after the Harmonica. I got a guitar for the first time for Christmas, but I also got Led Zeppelin Live at Roy Albert Hall DVD. And I watched that every day for so I still watch it at least twice a year. Um, that is the single most inspirational piece of media ever to me, is that DVD and that show. Unbelievable. Probably the reason I play guitar is that, that, that DVD. in the shadow hunter tier three and tier three the master training is gonna be done soon but just look how delayed the panda is how delayed the panda is everybody Ooh, wellspring did i just see wellspring finish love to see an early wellspring especially when the moon wells are still full because bam extra 125 on each of them Players' forces are under attack. You start your computer fully? Yeah, how do I actually do that? It's like, you have to do like a... a different way of, uh... To like, hold window for like 10 seconds or something, or... I forget what it is. But yeah, yeah, I've heard that fixed before. Bear caught out of position. Staff. Oh, one second. We'll save that. Oh, almost the hex to deny the staff, but not quite on time. Hold shift. Okay. Thank you, Toxie. Yeah, yeah. I've heard that fix before, but I always forget how to do it. I'll try that one. It should, it should work. I've heard that works. Panda is now level three, but... Typically at this stage, we see a panda already on his way to level 4, but Grubby is a little under-leveled. Little under-leveled! Needs that shadow level 3. Gets the Farseer level 3 at least. And of course, expansion coming up as so often for Dice, but I still... wouldn't say Dice is in a perfect position to win a fight if he doesn't have the perfect position in the fight. If the Stomp lands flush... Could be good. Angle with the Stomp there for a second. 
Haze fire was good. Purge to keep the panda out of possession. Grubby doesn't lose anything there, but he's lost a lot of health. What's the full name of that DVD concert? It's Led Zeppelin Live at the Royal Albert Hall, 1970, I think is what it's called. Or is, some people just say Raw Live. R-A-H. Nice stomp. Pit Lord third. Rain of Fire. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh my lord. This is looking like a 1-0 for Mr. Dice here. PC going to go down. It's only level 1. But the Panda. Panda. And it doesn't even matter again because Dice expanding. Seems like Grubby can't really get much done. It, there's just something missing strategically. The creep jack was great here, killing the archers, delaying the panda level 3, but there just seems to be something missing because it seems like Dice consistently gets him in this checkmate position where he's got an expansion coming up and he's winning the fight and there's pretty much no way for Grubby. Like, there has to be something different. But, maybe. Maybe Grubby can get some trades here. Bear staffed out, though. Panda back with full mana. Haze fire. A player's forces are under attack. I don't know, Sean. I I'll be honest. I've only played maybe five different Les Pauls in my life, but they've all had the same issue. And I'll also admit, two of those were Epiphones. Three of them were Gibsons. But um. But this, yeah, like, they've all they've all had the same the same issue, they've all the same issue. Don't know what it is. But I will. To be fair, most guitar owners are terrible at taking care of their guitars. The amount of times people break their guitars and they just don't work and they don't get them repaired for six months is incredible. Lightning Shield, Panda. Barracks gonna go down. Burrow gonna go down. Peons all gonna go down. It's a party here. And Grubby's not having fun. Short of a miracle. This is gonna be 1 0. The expansion's up and mining. Oh. Potion of vulnerability. Use Hex to deny the teepee, I think is what he's doing, so he can get a couple of bears. Alright, two bears gonna fall. Okay, two bears at the end. 48 versus 42, but Grubby is super supply blocked. He's gotta push and kill his expansion, or there's, there's absolutely no chances. Not sure Happy does differently in those games. Yeah, I don't know. Micro? Maybe? Is that it? Is that it? I don't know. It seems like Happy is always at an advantage once his Berserkers, his Bloodlust, and his third hero come out. It seems like he's always at a strong enough advantage to just push and win the game when I see him play Orc vs. Night Elves. Um... But in these games, it just seems like there's never a, never a point in which Grubby has control. And I don't know what it is that's different. I don't know what it is. Oh, the UI is bugged. Well, that is very bugged. Oh my god. Okay, now it's working. Maybe it wasn't even. I thought everything was frozen, but it's not. Ancient of Wind, by the way, coming up. Because why not, I guess? Fairy Dragon. Pan almost level 4. Got the creeping. Gets Kagars. Excellent item. A town is under siege.
half your name for two bears. I would take that trade. <laughs> That's like four rejubes, man. Lord almost three. A player's TP back. But as I said, Grubby's got to kill this expansion, but it's 66 against 49. I respect the super defensive town portal from Dice. What is this? Okay, Trant. Oh, Wisps. All gonna go down. Grubby could back away now, I guess. He's killed all the mining. That was uh, about as good of a push as Grubby could hope for at this stage. Does Grubby have a speed scroll? No. Hasn't lost anything yet, though. You see? Goes into push from vulnerability. Great. Grubby might have to buy a town portal, but he doesn't have the gold currently to buy one. So, yep, Farseer is just dead. And TC is soon to follow. Heal scroll, heal wave, but I don't think it'll last forever. Now, entangle on the Shadow Hunter. One bear is going to fall. Double level up. But even if Grubby makes it out of this fight, the hero level's simply too strong, and that's 1 0 for Dice. Again, well played. I just. I guess I have to take a closer look at these games, but I just don't know what it is that separates Happy doing the strategy from, from Grubby. What is fundamentally different? How does Happy get such a big advantage in the early game? I don't know. I don't know what it is. Seemed like Grubby did a lot of nice things this early game, but simply was not enough. Grubby, tie it up. Autumn Leaves, map number two. A much more familiar, standard, cozy, comfy map probably for both of these players. Rusty Creek's still being figured out. And we're going to jump right into it. Happy is currently playing Sonic in the semifinals, by the way, so we'll soon have... Both of our grand finalists. The question for this series, though, will it be after this game or the next? Dice for Grubby. Game two. Here we go. Bottom left, here's Grubby. He has played two Barracks Headhunters on this map before, um, which was shown to not work by none other than, I think, Dice. Maybe it was Happy that did it first with it just going pure Archer, but who knows? Here's Dice in the upper right. Dr. Serious Raven, thank you for the 32 months. Appreciate you. Grubby could still be going Blade. Could not be going Blade at this stage. Oh, this will be Farseer. Because, of course, if he was going Blade and doing this build order, it would have been a fast shop, which means he would have had to build a shop before the altar was finished, which he did not. So, just going to be fast tech with a peon to pull the creep and oh just like hitman mentioned earlier this will be countered by dice by building the ancient war on this side as opposed to this side a simple elegant solution to what was once the uh the very strong peon abuse If it does end up being Dice vs. Happy in the Grand Finals, I would love for Happy to random Orc. Just to just to compare and contrast what, what goes differently for Happy. Again, Dice taking a ton of damage on his Archer. Okay, Peon repair trick, but countered. Peon goes down. No value whatsoever. Dice gets 
all that XP. Oh, Farseer here, but the Archer is not low enough. But damage on the Keeper so far is good. Look at all the damage he's taking. Moonwell only now finishing. And this might be a level one keeper for quite a while, actually. I would wager. Dice is going to have to hard commit for this camp if he wants to secure it. They're going to sit in the base, though. They're definitely not going to rally across the map. And he's still struggling to get that level 2. Grubby can resummon the wolves. Does that indeed. Yeah, like I said, Dice is going to be stuck on level 1 for a while. And look how much damage. This is good harass from Grubby. Very good harass. All the moon juice is going to have to go towards that keeper, and he's out of mana for another set of treants currently. Eight seconds for another summon, so that probably means Dice secures this camp now at long last. Ooh, I love the wisp from Dice. Sitting next to the Farseer saying, go ahead, resummon, do it. Dice. Wait, kill it! Okay, there's a level two. But yeah, this has been a great early game from Grubby. This is as good as you could ask for from Grubby. A lot of Moonwells used. Very delayed level 2. Archer's a little bit low. Wisps were used. Lumber is a little damaged. And the tier 2 advantage for Grubby is going to be a full second hero ahead. He's going to head back and start creeping now. That is an on-time Hunter's Hall. Oh my goodness. That is a very on-time Hunter's Hall. Nice, using a lot of health and a lot of mana here to creep this. Gonna mean Grubby's gonna have even more space because Dice needs mana if he wants to pressure Grubby at all on his Keeper. Heal. That's quite nice. Lore coming up. Do we have a panda? Question I'm asking now, though, is where is the panda going to creep? This ancient war has not moved anywhere. So the panda's just going to have to... I guess he can creep the expansion, and then the ancient war can start moving here while the panda creeps the shop, then the panda can creep this with the ancient war. That has to be the creep route, right? With hex and killed. Be on his way to tier three. Dice is going to be a little bit behind, but now starts his tech. Three now coming across, but Shaman, yep, there's a Shaman available. And Heal Wave. So this Keeper, well, might actually be able to do a little bit. Yeah, I love the pressure on the Shaman. Can eventually entangle it and just guarantee the kill. At this stage, he could just entangle and guarantee the kill. Oh, the Purge! You'd love to see it. Greater Heal invested, though. Grubby gets out of this only losing a single head on her. That was very nicely done from Grubby. And now the Hex. He's actually going to force the Town Portal too. Grubby in a good position. Ancient War only moved over here. The Ancient War hasn't moved over to the middle of the map.
Yeah, I would say Undead's pretty difficult, and Human's difficult too, and, and so is Orc and, and Night Elf. Very difficult, yep. Oh, Base. And they're gonna get close to level 3, especially if the Keeper runs away. Keeper's not. Sonic won a map against Happy. Hell yeah, Sonic, let's go. A player's forces are under attack. And at three. And Grubby gets a middle camp. Versus 48. Town is under siege. Orb online, bears online. This is a standard situation where we tend to see dice pressure and go for an expansion. A player's forces are under attack. Grubby TC, Berserker, Bloodlust with the pop. This is where I've been mentioning Happy tends to push and win, actually. And maybe Grubby could finally be hitting a stride here after that nice early game. I can't imagine you can have much better of an early game than Grubby had. Short of killing a bunch of archers somehow, which he did in the first game and that didn't help him, so. Let's see, here's the first big fight between the two. One of the wind would be nice if there was a TC here, but I guess can be used on the Shadow Hunter too. Grubby wants to wait. Because, of course, he wants that third hero and that orb that he's purchased. That's like almost 900 gold not in the fight right now. 800 gold. Pretty much exactly 800 gold, isn't it? Yeah. Not almost 900, then. Exactly 800. Not in the fight. You see? Gets a nice stomp there. Archers, though. Look at the positioning on the archers. They're going to do so much damage. Haze fire isn't perfect, but it's good enough. Or, I mean, just look at the positioning on dice right now. Look at the archers, man. Oh, they're so sick. Doing so much damage. Bear gets... What? Micro from dice. Staff on this guy. Micro's back to the low HP bear. TC gonna go down. The archer's still untouched. Okay, one bear finally falls, but that was a sick fight from Dice. You gotta give it to him. That was a sick fight. Ooh, gets the breath, gets that last one, that last kill. No need for a pit lord either. Look, when you don't go for the pit lord, look how much your panda scales. Almost level four, and there's the expansion for Dice. Grubby yet again seems to be on the back foot, but the supply tells a different story. So maybe Grubby could find another fight. Dice seems to be a little bit low on bear numbers, so... Oh, the expansion gonna get cancelled? Okay, Grubby finding a nice play here. Nice. Cancel. But the panda's back with so much mana! The haze! The fire. The invisible fire. And again, this is not the fight Grubby wants. Level 4 on the Panda has a Mana Potion as well. Stomp is alright, but it's only level 1. Dark Ranger third! There it goes down, but so many more Orc units have fallen. Treants killing the long distance mining uh, peons. Panda has to be careful. Staff off cooldown, it is. 
short of a crazy play from Grubby, that's not going to go down. And Grubby, 42 against 46. And Dice probably going to re-expand. There's still tons of creeps in the map, and that means Panda level 5 is a possibility. Again, the Dark Ranger, I mean. That's all right. Forces are under attack. Ooh. And the peons give him more skeletons. And we know how strong this is from the Orc vs. Undead matchup when there's a bunch of skeletons. Against the head as the snowball is real. Oh, this positioning getting better for Grubby though, because the archers are finally exposed. These archers have gotten so much value, guys. Oh, come on. What are you doing? The archers have gotten so much value. Until now. Still chilling. Panda wants all these kills. Oh, look at the dryad! Oh, a nice purge before the shaman goes down. That at least saves the next head on her. Oh, archers the flank on the archers! The value! These are the most valuable archers in this matchup in such a long time, dude. So much value. Okay, stomp. These archers have done so much, man. This one even shadow melding, buying time. Just so wicked. Dark Ranger's now level 2 for silence, which is probably going to be useful. I wager. Oh, Bear caught out of position. And with the orb, it's definitely going to go down. Expansion is now up, though. Hero archers. Come again. TC. Probably dead. Oh, no. Eel wave. Nice. Oh, Wand of the Wind at long last finds its value. We get the TC finally. Doesn't seem like it. Oh, now the archers. Now the dryads. Everything's out of position. Is Dice over committing? I think he's over committing. But his expansion's up. Dice just so desperately wants to clean up these units. He wants to finish his food, but he might be losing more than he gains here. I think he certainly will be losing more than he gains here. Dark Ranger. Panda comes back in with full health and full mana. Oh, little two point surround possibly. Chaotic game here. Keeper dies? As I say, it's chaotic. Proves to be. Expansion. Was not forgotten about in the chaos, though. We'll be mining almost fully. 39 versus 47. Grubby could have one big push to win, potentially. He's low on mana, though. But finds another bear. Keeper Tavern back. Tavern is pretty strong. Players' forces are under attack. Oh, the haste fire is big. Is there a heal skull for Grubby? No, there's not even a heal wave. Ooh, this panda might kill everything. Nice stomp, but not good enough. Ooh, chain lightning. The wolves almost sneak to kill in there. But the bear and panda almost sneak to kill on the far seer as well. And Dice has held his expansion. Yeah, I think he's held this series. Still so much to creep. Are under attack.
is under siege. Here comes Grubby again. 45 versus 56 this time, though. It doesn't take long for Dice to get a huge supply advantage. And the Panda double mana pot now. Hex to try to control it. Stomp to try to control it, but misses. Grubby again running away. Again losing units in retreat. And probably again losing to Dice here in the semifinals, as it seems. As I say that, I didn't realize Grubby had counter expanded. Was this a tiny? Had to, there's no way I missed a slow expansion here this whole time, right? Still, though, Dice 60 against 43. And Treant's going to go in and start back at Peons. And on his way to level 5. Treants didn't seem to do much there. Silence on the TC, but purged away, and the Stomp controls the Panda. The Haze is still active, I believe, but the Panda can't land. Dryad's out of position horribly. Berserker out of position, but Entangle solves. Oh, the bears are finding their targets. That's... I mean, that's six bears right now on top of your army. Ooh, but the Force TP. Hope he finds a way. The Treants almost get every single peon, but not quite. 65 versus 48, though. The heroes are getting out of control for both players, I'll be honest. But the Panda 5 is really to be worried about. I guess Shadow Hunter 5 could counter, technically. A town is under siege. A player's forces are under attack. He has a heal scroll. He's going to need it. Doesn't use it yet. Now he uses it a little bit late. Oh, Sapper kills the expo? <laughs> nice play from Grubby, but now he's only forcing Dice into a position where he has to all in, and Dice is going to be more than happy to all in. He's definitely going to be able to kill his expansion. He's definitely going to get level 5 off these peons if Grubby doesn't run them away, which he wisely is. Oh, so close to Panda 5. So close. But, Dice. I just fight, Dice. What are you doing, bro? Grubby gets an excellent start to the fight because the bears were just hiding. Panda's 5, though. Dark Ranger back. Stomp is massive. Unreal Stomp. Surprised we don't see more uh, Lightning Shield, actually. Could have been nice on the TC there. Could still be nice on the TC. Look at the stomp. 57 against 41. Panda still has another mana pot though. Oh no. Probably about even, because Dice has a lot of extra Wisps currently, whereas Grubby just lost his peons that he had extra. This expansion's dead as heck. Oh, and the breath, my god. We can't see it, but we can see the damage it's doing. And there's still a mana pot! And the Shadow Hunter is still a kill away from level 5, which he needs to counter that. There it goes. Now, Grubby's going to be running for a long time. I'm afraid he's going to be running for the rest of the game. Oh my god, look at the damage. The stomps are big, but where's the damage follow-up? Oh lord. There's 
another breath. Oh, the panda's out of position. Staff, three seconds. Two seconds. One second. And staff down. An expansion for dice. A player's forces are Rather, the main is up, whereas Grubby's main is gone. And this is 2-0 for dice. I'm afraid there's nothing left for Grubby to do. Try to get some creeps. I mean, it's close to level 5 farce here, I suppose. But, I mean, dice is mining again. Double the supply. A town is under a siege. Under Scrubby trying to kill the Tree of Eternity. Panda comes back. Panda can solo the army! <laughs> Might be going for a Hail Mary, but push and vulnerability solves, and there's Moonwells, I imagine. He doesn't have Wellspring this game, interestingly. He didn't forget it last game, but this game he seemed to. Dice has to be a little bit careful to not be forced to repair the tree, because then all the wisps would go down, but look how many wisps he's pulling anyway. And Farseer safe to the heal wave. Oh, silence. At least silencing that purge from controlling the panda. Nice stomp, though. Player's forces are under attack. And Farseer goes down. GG is called. 2-0 for Dice yet again, who will go into the Grand Finals. Nice try to Grubby, but uh, we'll have to be next week to try to, again, make it to the Grand Finals. Has he yet to do that, but he's getting closer and closer. This game was uh, almost his. Almost his at times. All right, we'll go into a short break. We'll be back with probably the Grand Finals. Stay tuned. <laughs> 